Hi everyone, welcome back. In the last episode, we cleared out the hedge lab. So let's analyze the berry chunks we got there. That gives us a recipe for berry leather. We also picked up some silk rope. So let's analyze that. We get the recipe for the dew collector, the spider fang dagger and the insect bow. I think we're a long way from crafting a spider fang dagger. So let's focus on the dew collector because that is quite necessary now. So to build that, we'll need some weed stem. So let's go chop that down. For now, we've only got a tier one ax, so dandelions will have to do. Once we get a tier two ax, we'll be able to chop down some husky weed stem. Okay, that should be enough. We'll put it there and add the weed stem. That'll save us a lot of time in the morning trying to collect dewdrops. So I'm just heading to the uh, pond here. Uh, there's usually two bombardier beetles hanging around here. Um, they're not that difficult to fight, to be honest. Um, if you've got a bow and arrow, just a tier one bow with standard arrows. Uh, it should take around 30 arrows to kill it. Um, if you don't miss any, but I do. Um, obviously you'll want to avoid that attack, uh, but you'll also want to avoid stepping in that. As you can see, it's bubbling. It will burn you if you step in it. And other insects that walk in it will also take damage from it uh, and might even die as well. So it's probably best to bring the bombardier beetle out of the grass into a wider space to fight it so you've got some more uh, room to maneuver and run around. Their weakness is chopping but right now we've only got the tier 1 axe so I think for the first few that you kill it's probably best to take them with a bow and arrow. Um, you also get to create some distance between you and it which is obviously useful. So it's almost dead now. A couple more hours should do it. And there we go. So make sure you spend time picking up all of your arrows. And don't forget to pick up his parts as well. And you can see these two ants here died by standing in its acid, so it is quite powerful. We didn't quite get as many bombardier beetle parts as we needed, so uh, I'm just going to kill the second one while I'm here as well. There we go. So on the way home, we discovered the Jabby Cola, which unlocked the phase one of the natural explorer mutation which is very useful. I almost always have it equipped because it dramatically increases how fast you can run. So there we go. We've got the recipe for the jerky rack. And if we analyze the boiling gland, we've got the recipe for the insect hammer. Here we go. So we need a uh, stink bug parts as well as berry leather to craft that. And we'll need silk rope for the insect axe. And there we've got the jerky rack. So we've got five bombardier beetle parts. We just need some crude rope. So let's pick up some plant fiber for that. And we can craft the jerky rack. So let's put that there and build it. And uh, now what we need is stink bug parts. So let's go kill some stink bugs. There's quite a few of them over here. Uh, I was very fortunate in my fight because he actually ended up getting stuck. So it was just a case of standing here and firing arrows. Same as the bombardier beetle, I think it takes around 30 arrows, standard arrows, to kill him. So let's pick up his parts. Here we got two stink bug parts and we need four for the insect hammer. 
so we'll need to kill another one. You might want to craft a gas mask before you fight the stink bugs because obviously they can release very toxic gas like this. Um, but again, I was very lucky and he ended up getting stuck, so he was easy meat. Here we go. So let's pick up his parts and we'll go back home and analyze them. And there we got the recipe for repair glue and we also unlocked all the diving equipment so that was very useful and the gas sack unlocked the gastro goo smoothie and the gas arrows also very useful so the only thing we need now is the berry leather for the uh, insect hammer so let's go back to the hedge and get some more berries I'm just going to use the tier 1 axe to chop them. Uh, I think you get about 4 chunks from each berry. There are some lying on the ground already that have fallen, um, but for most of them you'll probably have to climb up and uh, shoot them down with a bow and arrow. It will be worthwhile counting how many you shoot down so you know how many you're picking up on the ground. That way you're not wasting your arrows either. So I shot down four, so I should have four to collect here. We're also going to make the ladybird armor at some point and you need a lot of berry leather for that. So you may as well try and get as much as you can while you're here. And while we're here, we'll also turn on the surveyor scanner. So if you take this zip line and drop off halfway, you can enter this little mini lab here. So on the left, we've got a tape. And on the right, we've got a chest with some quartzite in it. And we've also got some rusty. So I did fight some of these in the hedge lab, um, not very well, uh, but I do a much better job here because I managed to get in some uh, perfect blocks. There we go. So around here on the table we've got a document, and I think that's about it. So through to this room. We've got some science, another document, we've got some fibre bandages and a granola bar, and if you pull this lever, you'll activate the surveyor scanner, and you'll see this cutscene. So we've got our berry leather um, drying on the jerky rack uh, and we'll need to make some silk rope for the insect axe and to do that we'll need to craft a spinning wheel. So let's put that there. Looks like we need some clay. It's a bit dark to be hunting for clay so let's sleep and we'll do it in the morning. So we'll put our torch out eat some food, oh, pretty good. get some water from our lovely new At dew collector, we'll take our berry leather and refill that, three more pieces, and we'll analyze the berry leather, get some signs for that, and then we'll go get our clay. It's in its usual spot, it's always under or nearby water, usually. I think we got about six pieces there. So let's go back and analyze that. And we'll
we'll get some recipes mainly for construction and a repair tool. So we can finish our spinning wheel and we'll fill that with silk rope. It does take a long time to process so we'll come back later in the day and get that. Berry leather is still not dry yet. Fill it up again. So we'll need three more bombardier parts to make the insect axe, so let's go kill some more bombardier beetles. Taking a look around. So I'm back at the same spot as before, by the pond. Um, thankfully these beetles have respawned, but if they're not here when you want to kill them, you can search for them on the um, surveyor scanner, which we turned on. Um, so we'll need probably two of them. We may as well kill them if they're here. We've got lots of practice now, so these two went down quite easily. And now we've got five bombardier retail parts and two boiling glands. And on the way home I picked up some pollen as well, so we'll get that analysed. Collect our berry leather. So bad. And our silk rope. And we can make our insect axe. And our insect hammer. Great. So now let's analyse that pollen that we picked up earlier which should give us a recipe for pollen arrows and shinobi sneezes. Um, and it's getting quite late, so let's sleep. And I've set my respawn point there, that's always useful to do. So today I'm looking for ladybirds. I'm using the surveyor scanner that we turned on. Um, and I'm searching for ladybug parts. And you can see these red dots here on the map, that's where they are. So let's go find them and kill them. The reason I'm looking for ladybird parts is to make ladybird armor. Uh, the acorn armor isn't that great, so I think it's time we upgraded it. Ladybird armor is much tougher and a bit more useful for the level that we're at now. So I don't know if you noticed, but when she does that roar, she actually heals part of her health so make sure you keep the attacks going. So we got three ladybird parts there, which won't be enough for the full armor set, so we'll need to kill a couple more. And I found all of these ladybirds using the surveyor scanner, so it is really, really useful. But you can only find things on there if you've analyzed them or peeped them already. Okay, so we'll also need flower petals to make the armor set. So let's climb up here. I think we do need quite a few, so we'll just collect as many as we can reach. And we'll get them analyzed at the field station. That gives us a recipe for the bounce web. Not super useful right now, but it's good to have. So the berry leather takes a long time to dry and uh, you can only hang three parts on one jerky rack. So let's make another jerky rack and for that we'll need more bombardier beetle parts. There we go. And I found him using the surveyor scanner as well. So now we've built that. We'll fill it up with our berry chunks. So while we're waiting for the berry chunks to dry, let's make the red ant armor set. Uh, because that's probably going to be the next thing we're going to do, is the red ant hill. And we'll need a full uh, red ant armor set to go in there without getting attacked. Putting on some more armor. So let's put that on now. And we'll put our very damaged acorn armor set back in the chest. 
so we're going to need a torch in the Red Ant Hill. So I'm just buying the torch upgrade for 1,500 raw science, which should make the torch last much longer. And we'll make that there. So uh, it's quite late, so probably time to sleep now. And in the morning we'll build the ladybird armor set with the now dried berry leather. So we'll be able to make the ladybug face plate, the ladybug chest plate, and the ladybug shin guards as well. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Join me in the next one where I'll be exploring the Red Ant Hill and probably a bit of the haze as well. See you then.